Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, YCS Minneapolis has just concluded with Chris LeBlanc. I have not seen this dude in years. He looked totally different, didn't even recognize him. Is now a four-time YCS winner. He's a champion for the fourth time in a row, ladies and gentlemen, winning with Sprite Tier Elements. And man, it was a very crazy and also a very quick final round match. To basically give you a rundown of what happened, Flunder beat itself. I mean, that's what happened here. Now, I'm not going to sit here and make fun of the guy for losing, you know, with Flunderies. You know, he took Flunder to the finals. But essentially what happened in game one was that he was trying to play around Kishtari Fenrir. And we've talked about on the channel how broken that card is. Well, he ended up having Magnificent Map on the field, and at one point summoned a Flunderese Eaglin with a Robina already on board, activated the effect of Eaglin, uh, Chris LeBlanc chained the effect of Sprite Red, tributing Sprite Elf, keep in mind they're both under D-Shifter at this point, and he used Flunderese Advent to banish the Eaglin, the Flunderese player went for a search, he summoned Toucan, didn't use the effect, and then tributed both monsters to summon out Empin, but he had already used his regular normal summon, so to speak, for that turn. He didn't activate Toucan because he wanted to play around Kishtori Fenrir, but that was a big misplay. Because keep in mind, Kishtori Fenrir, whenever an opponent activates a monster effect, it can banish a card face up, or excuse me, target a face up card on the field, banish it face down, but it does that on a new chain. And even Chris LeBlanc wasn't aware of this. He actually asked the judges to for confirmation on that. So what the Flunder player should have done in game one was summon the Toucan, activate the effect, get back the Eaglin, tribute off both Toucan and Eaglin to go for Empin. The Kishari Fenrir was in attack mode, and it can activate its effect on the new chain to banish a face-up card because Empin's on the field. So no special summon monsters in attack mode can activate their effects. So I feel that the Flunder player definitely punted the football in that first game and then unfortunately he ended up just bricking in game two setting three back row and Chris LeBlanc just he dropped his pants and put a big old dookie on the field as we like to say on the channel but the top decks were very interesting top 32 we saw a bestial thunder dragon deck and that's really cool to see especially because we're going I would argue into a tier zero format with magnificent mavens coming out in just about a week or two we're going to have the brand new earth fairy support with the milling support and all that other stuff and the, really, this is the last hoorah before the Tier 0 Storm hits. Top 16 was pretty much all Sprite Tier Elements with two Flunderies and like one Sprite Runic. Sprite Runic ended up making it to the semifinals, losing to uh, Chris LeBlanc playing Sprite Tier. That's very interesting in and of itself to look at. Overall, it's, it's a cool event, but unfortunately, I think that we are now going to be seeing Tier Element win a lot of stuff now probably everything and it's interesting too because pure tier element technically hasn't won a big event yet like a ycs but yet this was sprite tier so do you count it as pure tier winning i don't know but the point is a deck that used tier elements won a ycs finally so now sprite has a win tier has a win exo sister has a win flunder got so close to a win but he played himself and i feel really bad for the guy but you know what Second place is still amazing. I can never top a YCS, and I'm not afraid to admit that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to give a quick roundup of what happened with this event. Be sure that you're ready for Magnificent Mavens, because you're going to be seeing Tier winning a lot of shit from this point on. And it's interesting, too, because, you know, all these other players that are playing Tier Element were trying to win a YCS, and then it takes a three-time, now four-time YCS winner of Chris LeBlanc to say, fine, I'll do it myself. And he just comes on out here and wins with tier element so get your tears while you can because people are going to be crying their tears or as we thought what was going to happen was that it was going to be a tier zero format with people drinking their sprite while they're playing sprite now it looks like people are just going to be crying their tears while they're getting milled out with some uh earth fairy shizu ishtar support so guys thank you so much for watching thank you for tuning in let me know what you think about the, the ycs and i will see you in the next video